Crosby. So currently, we are still waiting for the long track to come with the uh, food we've been expecting earlier. Uh, a pickup came with uh, some plantain, and uh, some of the staff here uh, got hold of it and they bought it. And we are told the price is okay, uh, but right now we are still waiting for the uh, long tracks that are to bring uh, these uh, plantain and yam and rice. We are told, but currently we have two stands for the for this uh, PFG market that is here at the Ministry of Agriculture and also. Uh, at the Air Force Island Park. And uh, currently, we are still waiting, but we have this young man here who is the press secretary to the uh, minister who uh, has been speaking with us this morning. L let me quickly engage with Crosby, if you don't mind, so I'll find out from him uh, how exactly it's going to be like. So quickly, you, you gave us 10 a.m. It's past 12 now. What exactly is happening? Why are the plantain and yams not here yet? Yeah, so you realize that in the morning, yes, I told you it was 10. But you know, the car that came, the first car that came, you know, we're tracking it on the Google. So when we gave it 10, we, re we thought that they were coming together with the big truck. But it was unfortunately to was the pickup that came first. But we have just spoken to them and they've gone past, um, was it to him? No, how about you sell one bunch of plantain? Yeah, so we're going for 10, 15, 20. I what mean, is the whole really bunch is 10, 15 cities. Yes. Is it, is it just for today? Or beyond today, we are going to increase the price. No, no, the same price that we're going to do. Because this is something that we're doing for our civil servants. So as long as the foods are available and we can convey them from the villages to the communities, we're not going to change the price. How long is this pro project or program going to last? So like I said, as long as the foods are available, as and when the regional directors alert that they have been able to mobilize. Because this is the regional directors are doing the mobilization at the local level for us. In the morning, one lady came here, one trader came here to buy tomatoes. Tell us the food uh, crops are going to sell. Is it just yam and plantain? Yeah, so we are, we, are, we are doing with the non-perishable ones. Okay. So now we deal with rice, um, yam, and plantain for now. So for, for instance, the lady who came in the morning, is the market open for such people or is it just for government workers as you uh, shared in the release you gave out? Yeah, so that is basically, that's the understanding that we, are, we want to make sure only civil servants, but of course, these things you can't control them. You still have people... So you are going to sell for them. other people in the open market, is that what it is? Even, I can assure you, even this morning, other people came who are not necessarily civil servants, but they also benefited from no, So, Crosby, that is the press secretary to the agri minister speaking to us there that even though they gave in their release that they are going to sell just for civil servants, other people came in, uh, the earlier track that came, uh, they were able to buy from it. So currently, we are still waiting for the long track. Okay. Uh, they keep saying it's on its way coming, and as mm. when it gets here, uh, we'll keep you informed. Right, but I'm sure what I wanted to get from him is if it is likely to be open for you know other people to join as a, as a um, civil servants, how will they deal with the um, excessive demand and the supply that will be in, in, in very short quantities? Wouldn't that affect the pricing and anything like that? So uh, as it stands currently, just like what they brought here, uh, it, it's finished. And you can see some people uh, sitting down patiently waiting for the truck to mm -hmm. come so they can also buy it from. So as that's when they have uh, uh, goods, they'll just sell. When it's done, it's done. And then you are gone. So it looks like a bunch of plantain. They know how much they're going to sell it. And everything's on paper. They sell it for you. They have a receipt. So whether there are a lot of people here or not, based on how they are supposed to set, sell one bunch of plantain or one tube of yam, that's how they are going to sell it. The numbers of people in demand, that is not going to change the pricing according to what the PRO told me early this morning.